children welcome back to our maths class today we are starting a new lesson its name is heron's formula this is related with triangles finding the area of a triangle normally we are using this heron's formula we already studied how we can find the area of a triangle normal one formula we already know that is half into b into h first triangle is 90 degree so it is a right triangle we can use the formula direct we can apply half into area of a triangle is sorry area of a triangle is area of a triangle is equal to half into b into h this normally you know this is a right triangle so b and h will be 5 cm and 12 cm we can direct apply this formula uh, in the case of a right triangle which two lines or which two sides forms 90 degree that two sides will be b and h here is the 90 degree so ac and bc will be b and h so it will be half into 5 into 12 we can cut this 2 and 12 that is equal to 6 30 centimeter square will be the area of this right triangle. Then, next one is, I am, uh, here is an equilateral triangle. That means all sides are equal. Its area, triangle PQR you want to find out. This we can't find out with this B and H, we can't find out directly. So, we will draw one perpendicular here. From P, we will draw one perpendicular that is 90 degree. This will be total 10 centimeter here will be 5 centimeter here also 5. Here is the 90 degree. So using Pythagoras theorem we will find the H. Then half into B into H we will get the area of this equilateral triangle. Here 5, here 10. You want to find out I am writing here S. PS will be the height of this triangle. H you want to find out. So, PS is equal to root of 10 square minus 5 square. That is root of 100 minus 25. That is equal to root 75. Root 75 we can write 3 into 25. 25 is root you already know. 5 root 3 will be the height of this triangle. Then area of area of triangle PQR is equal to again half into B into H base will be how much this QR will be the base and its perpendicular or height will be PS that is half into 10 into 5 root 3 then this 10 you will get 5 25 root 3 Centimeter square will be the area of this equilateral triangle. Then, next I am showing the area of an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means two sides are equal. Here these two sides are 5 centimeter. So, this is an isosceles triangle. Here also, here what we use to the same method that we are using here also. We will draw one perpendicular to this side. Here total. 8 centimeter so here 90 degree so this will be 4 centimeter then we can use Pythagoras theorem x p i am using this will be the height of the triangle h is equal to root of 5 square minus 4 square that is 25 minus 16 that is equal to root 9 that is 3. 3 will be the height of this. Five, this 90 degree. Then high 90 degrees opposite side will be the longest side. That is hypotenuse square minus base square. You will get h value. Then 25 minus 16. That will be 9. That is equal to 3. Then half into b into h. That is half into 8 into 3. Then how many times? 4 times. 12 centimeter square will be the area of this isosceles triangle. Then we discussed about three types of triangles now. Right triangle we can find out using this. 
half into B into H. Then equilateral triangle also, we can find out its area using half into B into H. Then isosceles triangle also, we can find out. Then what will be the another type of triangle? Do you heard that scalene triangle? Scalene triangle means all sides are different length. All sides having different measurement. We, we are calling that triangle as scalene triangle. Normally, we are using this Heron's formula for finding the area of a scalene triangle. That means three different sides of a triangle. In the isosceles triangle, mean all sides are equal. So, equilateral, equilateral means all sides are equal. Isosceles means two sides are equal. But in the case of a scalene triangle, all having all sides having different measurement. Normally, for finding the area of a scalene triangle, we are using this Heron's formula. Next, we can discuss the Heron's formula. Next, I am discussing how we can find the area of a scalene triangle using Heron's formula. Suppose that I already told that scalene triangle means three sides having different measurement. Let A, B, C are the three sides measurement. Then area of a triangle, area of a triangle by Heron's formula, Heron's formula is square root of square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Here A, B and C are the three sides of a triangle if A comma B, C are three sides of a triangle, three sides of a triangle, three sides of a triangle, then area of a triangle by Heron's formula is square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Here ABC you already knows that sides. Then what will be S? S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. What does A plus B plus C means? All the three sides of a triangle. That is the perimeter of a triangle. And divided by 2. That is known as semi-perimeter of a triangle. This is semi-perimeter of a triangle. S means semi-perimeter of a triangle. How you will get that? A plus B plus C by 2. Say perimeter divided by half. You will get the value of S. We can look one question. A equal to 40. B equal to 24, 40 meter, 24 meter and C equal to 32 meter, 32 meter. Find the area of a triangular part. Find the, find the area. This is one part is given. That is A. D, C, A, B is given 40, 40 meter. This is given 24 meter and this is given 32 meter. You want to find the area of this triangular park. Then I have taken A equal to 40 meter, B equal to 24 meter, C equal to 32 meter. Then Using her own formula because all the three sides are having different measurements. So, we can use her own formula. So, first we can find out S is equal to 40 plus 24 plus 32 divided by 2. by 2 that is equal to 48 s value you got 48 then 
area is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Then square root of s means 48. 48 minus 40. a means 40. Then 48 minus 24. Then 48 minus 32. That will be That is square root of 48 into 48 minus 40 means 8 into 48 minus 24. 48 minus 24. 4. 24. 24. Then 48 minus 32. 6. 1. 16. Now. We, we can write this as forty eight. We can write sixteen into three. Then eight. Then we can write three into eight. Then sixteen. You already studied how we can find the square root. We will write the factors of the given numbers. Then two are repeating. We will take one outside. That will be the Square root. Like that I made 16 into 3. So we got 2 16 are here. Then 1 16 we can take outside. That will be the square root. Then if you are making this 48 as the smallest prime factors like that we are dividing 2. Then again 24 like that also we can do. But this is the easy method we can do. We will get the answer fastly. Then here 2 8s are repeating. So that 1 8 also I have taken outside. Then 2 3's are there, then 1 3 I have taken outside. Then multiply these 3 numbers, you will get the area of the triangle. Then 16 into 3, 48, 48 into 8, 8 8's are 64, 384. 384 meters square will be the area of that triangular park. We can discuss one more question. Find the area of a triangle. Find the area of a triangle. Find the area of a triangle. Two sides of which are two sides of which are two sides of which are 8 cm and 11 cm and the perimeters and the perimeters perimeters 32 cm 32 find the area of a triangle Two sides of which are, we can, if you want, you can mark a triangle also. Uh, a, B, C. Two sides of that triangle is given. 8 cm and 11 cm. 8 cm given. This is given 11 cm. This side is not given. But one clue they are given. Perimeter is given. Perimeter means all the three sides are. Then first we can write. A is equal to 8 cm, B equal to 11 cm, C equal to 32 minus 8 plus 11. That is 32 minus 19. That is 13. 13 cm will be the third side. Now we got the side as 13 centimeter. Then all the three sides are different. By Harold's formula we can find the area. For that S is equal to uh, here want to find out A plus B plus C by 2. A plus B plus C means perimeter. That they direct given 32. So what we can write 32 by 2 that is equal to 16. So 
S also you got area by Harron's formula is square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. That is square root of 16 into 16 minus 8 into 16 minus 11 into 16 minus 13. That is square root of 16 into 8 into 5 into 3. Here you can write 16 as 4 into 4. Thus we can write 8, we can write 2 into 2 into 2. Then 5 into 3. This 4 times 2 means, 2 times 4 means we can take 1, 4 outside. This also we can take 1, 2 outside. Thus the remaining numbers are in no pairs. So we can write in the root itself. 2 into 5 into 3. That is 8 root 2 into 5, 10, 10 into 3. 8 root 3 centimeter square will be the area of this triangle. Is it okay? The sides of a triangular plot are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 7. And its perimeter is 300 meter. Find its area. Here sides are not given directly but they are given the ratios. Then we can. I already told that if ratio is given we will take this as 3x, 5x, 7x. We can mark ABC as a triangle. 3x will be one side. Other will be 5x. Next will be 7x. These are the three sides of a triangle. And its perimeter is given 300 meter. Then you want first you want to get all the three sides. A, B, C. Want to get. Then only you can find out its area. Then 3x plus 5x plus 7x is equal to perimeter is given 300. Then 8x. 15x is equal to 300. So x is equal to 300 divided by 15. That is equal to 20. x value you got 20. Then one side a is equal to we can take 3x. That is 3 into 20. That is equal to 60. 60 meter. Then B is equal to 5x that is 5 into 20 we will get 100 meter. Then C equal to 7x that is 7 into 20 that is equal to 140 meter. Then 240, 60 we are getting total 300 meter. Then A, B, C you got. Now S is equal to S want to find out A plus B plus C by 2. Semi perimeter because perimeter already given that time we want to divide by 2 or we want to do that is 300 by 2 that is equal to 150 meter. Then Heron, using Heron's formula we can find the area. Area is equal to we can first write down the formula square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Then square root of S is 150, 150 minus 16, 150 minus 100, then 150 minus 140. These are the three, S minus A or then we can 150 into 90 into 50 into 10. Okay. Then we can write this as 15 into 10, 9 into 10, 5 into 10, into 10. How many times 10 is coming? 1, 2, 3, 4 times. 4 times 10 coming means if you are taking 2 tens outside that will be square root. So 10 into 10 already over. The remaining numbers are 15 that is 3 into 5, 9, 3 into 3, then 1, 5, then 1, 5 is the 2, 3 is the, then 100 into 5 into 3, then 1, 3 not having pair that you can write the same, root 3 itself, 
then 500 into 3 that is 1500 root 3 meter square will be the area of this triangular plot. Okay children, thank you.